anyway, speaking of you and Reggie Day, mm-hmm. let's really get into it. Right. Um, what I want to start this part off by saying is I think that you two have taught me something about a bias that I have towards relationships in my generation. Okay. Um, I will say that I was very skeptical about mm-hmm. y'all, if I'm being honest, because mm-hmm. I felt like... You know, you guys were posting a lot of videos together, posting a lot of pictures. And I was like, damn, like, this is moving very fast. But then I thought about to myself, like, we've normalized the sneaky links, the buying gifts, expecting gifts, going on trips, basically spending a night at each other's houses. after. So it's like... And we ain't even do that. and, And so... For me to be skeptical about someone showing their love publicly just because it's publicly mm-hmm. when we be doing the stuff yeah. in private and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. It's like, why is there like a stigma behind genuine love in today's society? So I will say that you guys have made me realize that I have a bias, right. I guess. Maybe based on the <laughs> lack of experience. Maybe that's, right, where, right. maybe that's where it comes from. <laughs> So I do want to say that I love you guys. Love the way that that. you you. genuinely show love for her. Mm -hmm. Your baby girl, baby girl, baby girl. Yeah, it's my baby girl. So walk me through the timeline because was the blind date really the first time that y'all met? Yeah, that was the first time we, like I met her at a BMF premiere Mm -hmm. uh, maybe a year and a half prior. But the blind date was the first time we actually like met and Mm -hmm. was face to face like that. Yes. Really? Yeah. Because it was given. Like, the yeah. connection was given. The eye contact was given. It was real, like... Well, I let me like, tell you. So, uh-huh. the reason why it was kind of like... It was it was the first time, but, you know, we was we were, like, friends and we were cool. Like, you know... Okay. Uh, Like, maybe... Like, that's when we kind of, like... You know, like... Yeah, like... When so let me say this. So it was the blind date, but people don't even know like the blind date is really like when I actually looked at her face to face. I was that was my mm-hmm. first time coming over there. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't at her house prior. I didn't even see her. Oh, that's T because I didn't even know it was at her house. Yeah, like oh. well, that's a certain part. You okay. see what I'm saying? Like mm-hmm. that's not her house, but mm-hmm. she have a like, you know, I want to d- you know, disclose no, my no, girlfriend yeah, locations, no, but no, 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 you good. know that's where she does. Mm-hmm. You know her her content mm-hmm. exactly. That's mm-hmm. her content house. So, um, yeah. Before that, like that was my first time actually seeing her. Like, okay, see, what I'm saying prior to the the BMF movie premiere that I went to with my management. Okay, so yeah. was Jazz throwing the ad- like Jazz was helping you shoot your shot. Like what was you there mean? already some interest there? Because you said that y'all were friends. Mm-hmm. So was it like, you know, you talking to Jazz like, oh, yeah, I think she's cute. She fire. <laughs> the body body in, you know, like. Um, definitely. Oh. I yeah, was, okay. I was like. Shout um, out to Jazz for that. She really, she did her thing with that. Yeah, I was, uh, you know, I didn't like before I was, we were just real cool, like. You know, like I said, after that, you know, she had, like how you were saying, like, just a lot of things we did was different. You know what okay. I'm saying? Like, a lot of things we did was different. And you know what I'm saying? Like, the whole, like I told you, we wasn't even sleeping at each other's houses. Like, mm-hmm. that wasn't even a thing in our mind. Mm-hmm. Like, you know what I'm saying? To start out with. So, mm-hmm. um, yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's crazy. Okay, so. <laughs> but I'm thinking back. I'm like, yeah, like, when was this? What, June? That yeah. was, what, the blind date? Yeah, it was like. that. I think, well, at least when the video was posted, July. it was like five, six months ago. Yeah, July, huh? Okay. Six months ago, it was like July. So when you did that, too, you had said that you were like two months out of a relationship or something I was, like that at the time. Two, I was three. March, April, May, June, July. I was, yeah, three. Three, three months, like okay. three and a half months. Yeah. So what was it? But okay. But let me let me let me pause you. Hold on. Mm-hmm. I was three months out of a relationship, but I was I revisited the relationship I was in for two months that I was prior out of for a year. See what I'm saying? Okay, I see. Exactly. So y'all had like y'all was off trying yeah, to make it work again, and exactly. then it didn't work. Yes. Okay. 
got you. Exactly. So it wasn't like long term. No. Then you hopped right into another I was another out one. of a relationship for a month. Mm-hmm. And then for a January, year, February, I tried to work it out. And then March, I, we cut it loose. You see what I'm saying? Okay. I think so. You so, were out for a month, then got back to it. I thought no, you said a year at first. No, no. I said I was with her, <laughs> back with her. You okay. see what I'm saying? So I was single for a year. You were single. Okay, 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 okay. See what I'm saying? The right, whole I'm 2021, I was single. Mm-hmm. The beginning of 2022, January, February, I tried to make it work. Exactly. It didn't. I broke up in March. Tried to make it work again. No. It didn't. No. Uh-oh. It wasn't. It was done. All right. The math right April, now. April, May, June, I was single. Okay. Yeah. All right. I think it's just it's it's the heat that's getting to me. Maybe that's why it's not the math, not mathing. It's not math. But I'm sure that the viewers get it, and that's all that math. Yeah, it's, right now. it's not mathing. So, Let me, okay, no, so no, 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 no. You got your, it right. No, your math is mathing. Uh-huh. I'm saying me. It's right. me. It's me, uh-huh. not you. Yeah, let me let me make it right for you. I want to know what's not math. Nah, you said you said a year y'all were off. Right. Then beginning whole 2020. The whole 2020. T- 2021. 2021. I'm sorry. Yeah. Yes. Then the beginning of 2022, y'all yeah. got back together. January. Right. Oh, for the February. month. February. For the two months. Yes. Then y'all took a month off. No, we broke up. <laughs> That's where she getting it confused. Okay. All right. Yeah, it was when done we, in March. Hold on. You want to know something, Armand? Because yes. at one point, I think you said a month instead of a year. And I think that's what caught me up. Oh, okay. No, I think you were saying, I think I heard you say a month. And I'm like, no, nah, we wasn't oh. broken up. I think that's where you kind of confused. Got lost, we got lost I in think she confused all of us. Then. We I'm damn. Like, I'm sorry. A I'm month, like, we, not, not a month. I was single for a year. We got lost in translation. All right. You were single yeah. for a year. My bad. For a year. And then I got back, tried to make it right with my baby mother. For January, February, mm-hmm. and we broke up in March. Right. I and was then single. you had the break and then met exactly. Regine. Yes. Cool. All yeah. right. Thank you for setting the record straight. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> All right. So what was it um, about Regine that made you like, fall? it seems like you fell really fast. Yeah. What was it about this relationship that made it different from anything that you've experienced before? Um, like I said, it wasn't really falling fast because we were friends. You see what I'm saying? Like before we even jumped into a relationship, like the blind date wasn't me saying, Hey, be my girlfriend. Like we Mm -hmm. were actually friends. Like, you know what I'm saying? After it wasn't, like I said, it wasn't, Oh, come spend the night or let's do this. Let's, it wasn't that we took our time. Yeah. We was slow mo, you know? Um, so I'm on, I, when I say falling fast, I don't mean like rushing into a relationship, mm-hmm. but I think it was very clear from very early oh, on. Oh, that I liked her. Yes. Of course. Very, very clear oh, that there course. was something there. I feel like of course. everybody could tell that mm-hmm. like whatever was between y'all. Yeah, that I, that I fucked with It was with real her. strong. Yes, ma'am. It was of real course. strong. You and could tell. And that's really what I'm asking about. Okay. Like, what was it about whether it was the connection, whether it was oh, yeah. about her in general okay. that like made that bond yeah, so Okay, so, so when, okay, yeah, I see. Okay, so basically just the way she talked, the way she she handled herself, you know, different questions mm-hmm. that I asked her and different conversations that we had. Um, I just felt like she was, um, I was kind of like you, like in a sense, like I'm like, I was kind of like, you know, no female really where I'm at, you know what I'm saying, mentally or where I'm at. So I kind of like want to take a step back and just focus on my career. But talking to her, that was like a breath of fresh air. Mm -hmm. And then to actually be almost six, seven months in of, you know what I'm saying, a relationship with her. I just feel like, like that's her, you know Mm -hmm. what I'm saying? I'm like, Mm -hmm. yo, jackpot, you know what I'm saying? Because she really, you know, it's what she told me she was you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. she real she authentic you know what i'm saying she support me she's a woman she's a business woman she's an actress she's you know what i'm saying she's mm-hmm. everything that she put out there yeah i love love and i love the way that you talk about her yeah, that's my baby like, girl <laughs> that is your baby girl like you like even in the video where um jazz tried to prank you and say like she didn't think that regina was the one for you yeah you um like like just respected her when she wasn't even in the car. You yeah. vouched for her. Like you really was making sure that Jazz put the respect on her name. And it was like yeah. you either gonna respect it or get lost. Yeah, and to go back to you asking me, was the pranks real? That oh yeah, that was one, the conversation we had off camera. Yeah, that was the conversation we had off camera. <laughs> but definitely that was one that you know what I'm saying. 
Because Jazz got different gadgets and shit that mm-hmm. she used on <laughs> YouTube. Like I told you, I got my one camera, like, and I be just, uh-huh. you know, I vlog. But Jazz got the, I don't know what she had in there. I think it was a GoPro. Okay. But I wasn't paying no attention. You know what I'm saying? Like, okay. it was, by the time she told me, and look, I'm like, yo, like, that's wild. But, you know, just when she did play that, you know, I, it kind of caught me off guard. But it's like. You know, like I, I like I told her and I, I can read say what I said is like I know what I want. Right. And she checked every checklist that I want. So yeah. I love that for y'all. Thank okay. You. So you gave her a promise ring. Mm-hmm. Um, what is the significance of a promise ring to you? Um, the promise ring, the significance of it was just, you know, me being a man, I feel like um just me learning my woman and me just, you know, listening to her. I just feel like, you know, women just need that reassurance, you know. Mm -hmm. Um, And like I said, I I just wanted to let her know that that's just like my loyalty. You know, like, you know, I only see her. I only want her. Mm -hmm. Um, And, you know, just my gesture. That's just what I do. Like, you know what I'm saying? That's Mm -hmm. just who I am. I think the promise rings are making a comeback because I don't know if you know. um, There's an artist out here, Nas, EBK. He gave... Is now ex Jada a promise ring, and okay. that was like a really big thing. And yeah. that was the first time that I had seen someone respectfully mm-hmm. in our age group give somebody right. a promise ring because they haven't really been normalized mm-hmm. um, at this point. So now seeing you do it as well is like, okay, yeah. promise rings making a comeback. Mm-hmm. Love the men committing to their women. So That's shout right. out to you for that also. Yeah. Um, so, what are your thoughts on like people who make speculations about you and the way that you? handle your relationship for ex- you want me to give you an example yeah yeah give me an example for example like in academics mm-hmm. you know i know you've talked and talked and talked about this situation yeah. um but coming out of that you know i think that there are a lot of feelings that people may feel because like i said before this kind of love isn't really normalized in our generation mm-hmm. at least not publicly mm-hmm. um so what are your thoughts on people who make comments about you and the way that you handle your relationship so lovingly and like you're very vulnerable and open what do you think you know what people? what i don't really trip about mm-hmm. it's because honestly man like you know the the people that be talking you know it, it's it's the comments but Honestly, man, the, the the people that they look up to, mm-hmm. them the same guys that be like, yo, that's fire. Or, hey, bro, like, hey, what 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 flower should I send my girl, bro? Mm-hmm. Like, or, hey, yo, gang, that's like, how could I? You know, you see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So when I look at it, it's like, yo, y'all trying to be, it's like, it's just, I could never even get mad about that. And then, you know, I'm, I'm just me. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like that's what make me me. Mm-hmm. You know, um, I ain't really got too much to like, you know. Okay. You know, the females, like, I, don't, I don't give a fuck about niggas. Like, you okay. see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, As you I'm a ladies' have. man. Like, you know what I'm saying? I make music for the ladies. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm not worried about a bunch of Okay. And now, I want you to receive this question in the way that I'm asking it. Mm-hmm. Um, to what you're saying about being a ladies' man, you're making right. music for the ladies and right. all that. How does it make you feel as somebody who's also in a relationship right. to see somebody like academics who's like imitating you with like a flamboyant right. voice and like <laughs> trying to like lead to speculation of things right. about your sexuality that yeah. you know? What What do you think about that? Man, he don't know me, you know, and. Like behind that, I just feel like you know when he see me, mm-hmm. you know, then he'll get a chance to know me. You know, it just ain't nothing flamboyant or ain't nothing. I don't know. I mean, I don't know what I don't. Man, that dude is goofy. Like I don't know what the <laughs> fuck he even. I don't know. Like I ain't even. I don't care about. Okay. Well, academics that's aside, crazy. Yeah, that's academics aside. Do you? What do you think about the way that? society expects right. for men to conduct themselves um, right and I, I don't know man i feel like yeah like it was like he it was like like you saying it was like the way like it is i talked to my girl he apologized like he's at like what bro mm-hmm. so you think because i talked to my girl you know what i'm saying respectfully respectfully like i'm i should be taking this you know lightly you mm-hmm. know what i'm saying but 
like I said, just to make this clear once again, like I'm going to tell the young cats of the day, the young dudes, like ain't nothing weak about loving your woman. Period. Nothing weak about it. You know what I'm saying? You stand on your business. You stand on your principle. But at the end of the day, a real man is going to love his woman. That's just period. You're not going. It ain't. You know what I'm saying? They normalizing this shit, but that's not. It's not normal. You feel what I'm saying? Like you keep it P. You be respectful. You respect your woman. Period. You respect the bed. Period. If that's not what you want, you get out the situation. But trying to shed a light that someone is, you know what I'm saying, gay or someone is flamboyant because. I'm not, you know what I'm saying? That sound like he got, like, he just a little nigga to me. Like, I don't even, like, that's just little shit. Like, I don't, I don't even want to talk about that. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Because that's old. I don't want to shed no more light on that. Mm-hmm. Seven months old. I don't got time. And thank you for clearing it up. And yeah. yes, it is seven months old, but this is my first time yeah, seeing yeah, you. Yeah, for sure, so, for of sure. course, I got to ask yeah, you about not it. not towards you. I get it. But that's something that, you know, that I feel like people is going to talk about. And yeah. that's something I'm going to have to say, but... Mm-hmm. You know, I just don't feel like, you know, I said, like, once again, the young the young cats of the day, mm-hmm. or even the older cats that's even, that ain't that ain't what it is. You know, be mm-hmm. respectful to your woman, respect your woman, and stand on business. Period. I wish you were holding your mic so you could drop it, because that was really Yeah, nice. I would have dropped it. <laughs> I would have dropped it for you, saying, you know, because that's real shit. So how have your supporters um, been receiving your relationship? Like how how would you say that they've been reacting to you and Virginia being together? Um, man, they've been reacting. They they love her. They love what we got. They love, mm-hmm. you know, how we did it. Um, they just love, you know, what I didn't grew to. I feel like they watched me um go do different things in the past. You know, I don't know if you know, but just oh, a yeah, couple things, yeah, on mm-hmm. the internet. And um just to see this, you know, happening for me and me actually, you know, I'm really in love with this girl. You know what I'm saying? Like, I really I like, that. I can say that, you know? Mm-hmm. So I feel like they they love it, you know? Yeah. And you know what? I think that that is big because the supporters don't be playing around. Yeah. Like, you brought up jazz a couple of times. And I'm going right. to bring up jazz now because okay. they will not let go of Tay. They huh. will not let go of Tay. All in the comments. Like, it don't matter how many videos Jazz posts for Crystal. Right. They still asking for it. And I love Jazz and Tay mm-hmm. down. But I respect her relationship with Crystal as well. And yeah, I course. feel like a lot of people, as they watch you grow with somebody and they get yeah. to know you as a couple with somebody, I guess they want to hold on to that. Mm-hmm. But I think that it says a lot that you're able to start with somebody new and mm-hmm. they're being so receptive to seeing you together. I think that yeah. that says a lot. Yeah, because I don't see no mention of your ex in none yeah. of the comments. Yeah, man. Um, but speaking of, um, how did you approach the relationship? Um, being fresh out the relationship with Re- Regina, excuse me, mm-hmm. being fresh out of one with the mother of your child. Are there certain like protocols, um, certain things that you have to do to like make sure everything's good? Like, how did you address that? Um. Yeah, I just, I just took my time, you know, okay. um, just didn't want to make the same mistakes over again. You know what I'm saying? Didn't want to move too fast, mm-hmm. you know, didn't want to just do too much. So I really took my time. Okay. Got to know her, got to know the do's, the don'ts, what she like, what she don't like, you know, what make her mad, what don't. Okay. I think I wasn't clear, but mm-hmm. so I'll give you an example okay. personally. Like me, my, one of my non-negotiables for a long time has been like, I don't want to date a man with kids. It's kind of changed now that I'm getting okay. older, but more than just because of the kids, it's been because of the uncertainty with the relationship between him and his, the mother of his child. Okay. So going into a relationship, I know that that was something that Regine asked you from the blind date. Like, what mm-hmm. is the situation between right. you and the mother of your child? Um, so that's really what I was asking. Like, are there certain things that you had to make sure were clear or were there like, are there certain protocols towards like being in a new relationship after being fresh out of one? Which, oh, you, are okay. you following yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I just want to make sure I'm not I get I'm what you're really... saying. Yeah, yeah, of okay. course. They're saying basically like, like, yeah, yeah. How do you, I... yeah. Right. While in, while trying to manage a new mm-hmm. relationship as well. 
um thank you just just respect you know um honestly you know i really don't have to make that call unless i'm talking to my daughter so okay you know just made that clear mm -hmm. um she don't have that problem but that is a talk that we had and you know like i said it's my daughter over there so of course my girlfriend with me all the time so mm -hmm. she see my kid and you know that's how we do that and then you know just going to go get her i make it to where i get my daughter then she come back it's just it's it's, it's all right okay yeah. cool all right, that's nice. So now, how has father? Because <laughs> I won't get, I won't get too much into it. I'm saying that's good that y'all have that that set up, um, and it seems to be going smoothly from what you're saying. Right. Um, so how has fatherhood been treating you overall? You seem to be a very great dad. Um, you're present. Mm -hmm. You seem to talk very highly of your daughter. Mm -hmm. How does it feel to be a dad? I feel great to be a dad. I always had like a feeling, you know, that I was gonna have a little girl. So. Mm -hmm. This is always something that I, you know, I feel like that was the type of love I had hidden to pour into my, my daughter. So I just, man, my daughter's everything. Like, you know, she's coming here next week. So she's going to be with me. Oh, yeah, it's my baby. Love that for you. Man, that's my baby. Did you, how did you grow up? What was the structure in your household growing up? No. Yeah, no. Nah. Okay, that's fine. So there was something that you um spoke about, and if you're open to talking about it, we mm -hmm. can talk about it. You tweeted something about you didn't know that men could go through postpartum depression as well. <laughs> How tweeted that? You tweeted that, yeah. I did. You did. Mm -hmm. Where? <laughs> on Twitter. What do you mean where? You tweeted you that sure on Twitter. That I'll, my pull, brother. I'll pull it up for you. That's on our Trey page, right? Yes, you, that was you you pulled it. Oh, that was my brother. Okay. Yeah, because well, I'm like, I didn't say that. I stand corrected because it was also on the T page too. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, it, that but was it's my okay. brother. Yeah. Um, was that something that you had experienced at all? Um, going into fatherhood. Um, no, nah. no. Mm -mm. I feel like what I deal with more so just being in my head. Okay. You know about being a father and like, you know, I just I'm really, 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 really hard on myself. Mm. Like, really, you know what I'm saying? So, like. Man, sir, like, I'd be so scared to take my daughter to a water park. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Only because it's like, like, this this all I got. You know yeah. what I'm saying? This is my baby right here. That's so, you know, her and, you know, of course, but I mean, like, that. So. Hey, guys, it's Enrique from Talk of the Town. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube to see more.